So whenever MongoDB creates new documents, something we've noticed is that it adds this ID field right here, and each document has this unique ID that's been generated for it. And we can make use of this ID to find particular documents if we know the ID. And we know that these IDs are unique, so if we um, try and query a document by its ID, we know we'll get an exact match. And that's what they want us to do here. So let's say that I wanted, I knew the mar the ID of Mark, which is this right here, and I'm just gonna copy this um, to the clipboard. And what if I wanted to find what, which whichever entry had this ID? The way I would do this is I would want, I would call a method on the model, the model again is person, and I'd say person dot find by ID like this. And as a first argument, I would give it the actual ID that we created as a string. Not the ID we created, the ID of the document. And as a second argument, once again, we can give it a function that takes an error and data. And we can do the usual procedure of if there's an error, log the error. And otherwise, um, we can look at the data. So if we run this now, and let's have a look at what the result is. So as you can see, the entry for Mark right here has been returned. And an important thing to note here is that because we're doing find by ID and IDs are unique, this just returns the object directly. It doesn't return an array because there can't be more than one result with one of these unique IDs. And when these IDs are generated, they're generated randomly and the chance of any two of these IDs being the same is very small. And you can even see that it's purposely incremented like this. So yeah, I was wrong about that. It's not random. It seems to be a like a sequential thing. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So what they want us to do in this um, function right here is it'll take in an ID right here. And what it'll do then is we want to, um, what this function needs to do is it needs to return the document as an object with that ID and then we need to pass it into this that done function again to test. So we can call the find by ID method here and inside it we want to give it the ID and this ID will be given to the function as an argument of person ID so we can do just do that. Once again we'll give a callback function that takes an error and data and if there was an error we want to log the error again Otherwise, uh, we want to um, give this result to the done function. And I'm going to change this data to results because that seems to be more representative of what this data is. And in the server.js, we can see that um, what it'll do is it'll convert that data to JSON and then it'll try and do some testing with that. Um, so we just want to call the done function. And there's no error this time, so we want to give it null as the first argument, and we just want to give it the result as the data. So I hope that's clear. So once again, I'll just explain it once more time. It'll take in an, a desired ID in this function, and it will find the document with that ID and return that as an object, which is this result right here. And then we'll give this result to the done function as a second argument, which they'll use to test it. So that should be everything really. So we can just copy this link right here and submit it. And hopefully, yeah, that seems to have worked.